Hey guys, Trish Grizzly here today. We're back with Neon Genesis. Is anyone going to episode 11? Fine, we're getting, we're getting there. Bait last, ep uh, last episode in the comments to do with um, if I should react to the movie first or the two episodes. Um, I talked to a few of my mates and uh, they're saying I should probably watch the movie, movie first and then watch the two episodes. But I'm sort of just like, oh, shouldn't I watch what is first and then watch the movie? But when people say it ruins the experience for the movie and the movie's a true ending, but... Hey, I don't really mind to be fair. Well, I'm watching them either way, so I'll just watch the movie first. It seems like that's what everyone wants me to do. I'm not going to skip the last two episodes while we'll go back to them after the movie. But that's a long way from now. That's about, what, 10 weeks from that. But, but I thought it'd be somewhere I mentioned because there was some people debating in the comments if I should do the movie first or skip two episodes. But I'm curious to see why uh, there's such a big division over watching the last two episodes in the movie. Yeah, last episode one was, uh, I liked it. I thought it was like some nice little bits of development here and there. And I thought it was all right paced. There seems to have been people who come and point out that this one people because this is one of the worst, last episode, one of the worst. But I didn't mind it all that much. I didn't think it was terrible. I hated it. I thought I enjoyed it, to be fair. It's just more time to chill with the characters. And it was just a bit more chilled, which obviously put towards the end. It was a bit more like hectic. But overall, it wasn't a bad episode. Don't know what to expect from now. Overall, though, I'm looking forward to this episode. So let's get into it. Please like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And check out my other seasonal anime along with JoJo's Undeath Parade. I never know what to expect from the episodes, I don't know where they're always going to go. Normally it's something like a bit of slice of life and then a bit of action at the end of the episode. Seems like we're going at the moment. I wonder what the end of the character arc is going to be for the blonde chick. I wonder what her own character arc is going to be. Because she seems to know more than me, so... so. Hmm. <laughs> Mate. Just cruel. Just with the long shot on the phone. Someone on hold is. Okay. Oh, he's actually calling his dad. Mate, I'm impressed he actually took the balls to call him. Mate, Sinji growing, I like it. Yeah, I don't understand why it's focused so long on the holding tone. I was like, why did they have so long on the holding tone? Maybe because, like, it's from corners that the it gives you that sort of intensity. Oh, it's one of those. This is how all Japanese porn starts, guys. Just saying. Fucking hell. Brutal. I don't know if I just wouldn't sacrifice, like, just that easily. But the more and more you learn about nerve, the more you just, like, ugh, they're all cunts. I swear Miso is the only one I like. <laughs> hey, they're not having a good day today, are they? So they were sabotaged from the inside then. Ugh, what the fuck is that? Daddy Long Legs Angel. I love the order shapes of the angels, they're always so unique. That's cool that they look a the same. <laughs> For God's sake, we all know who wants it, don't we? There we go. I very doubt they care, let's be honest. Great leadership skills. <laughs> I do like Asuka. I do like her design quite a lot as well. It's pretty cool design. Mate, that thing's terrifying. Just proves how easily technology can be down for them. I wonder what's going through the dad's head like. I wonder what sort of things go through that man's head. I'd be curious to know more about the past between him and Shinji. But really, one person could do that without anyone noticing. That's a bit surprising. Did you even know the dad did it? Just. Yeah, that's something new then. Like during apocalypse is the most dangerous people over humans. 
And the last he picked to be the one in the, the technician just should be up front, but he picked the right spot, didn't he? No. It's interesting to see more interactive for change. I'm gonna do something for now. Oh god. I love how calm those two are. Yes, Asuka. You truly are the MVP. Oh, she's trying to, trying to jack. She wants to try and get her to do a motion. I don't think it's going to work, Asuka. Yeah. Don't fight this bitch. <laughs> oh. Savage. At least you could do it manually. I think it was with the epic music. God damn it. Perfect landing. What is going through that guy's head? I do wonder. Me, it's really bothering me. I need to know more about him. He definitely intrigues me the most because he's in charge of nerve. He shows weird compassion sometimes. Oh, fever's going out to fight. That's a change. I can't wait to see some of the fights later in the show. I can look forward to see what else we going to do. Some of my favourite parts of the show. Like, I love the whole characters and like, the interactions, but the facts are still cool. So, just so, like, well done, in my opinion. Like, all the angels look different and just a unique way to take them down. Like, this is a unique situation. All the powers are, and it shows what they would do if all the power went out on Earth. Eat. Well, that's not good. Okay, now. Oh. Got Sinji coming in to save the day. Oh, this is a mess of robots. I've never been into um, mecha shows before this one. Like, the only one I watched was Go and Log On. That was close. <laughs> this, I'm saying I can't show. I hope it's one of these shows where we'll answer all my questions at the end, like with the whole, like, eat, what are the angels doing? With the one, so much I want to know, but hopefully it gives me my answers. Oh, mate, Asuka showing us why she's a good team leader. See, she doesn't forget. That's cool. I, I like she didn't like, even though she could be a bit of a hard head, she's still. Uh, Remembers the good things being done for her. That was a good problem, but she came up quite quickly. I can respect that. See, she can be a bit of a bitch sometimes and a bit begetted, but it's one of the reasons I, I like her for it. Mate, that was such a sick combo. That was, that was sick. I didn't like that. Yeah, I like how last episode came up as well. <laughs> Wrecked. I like that episode, I thought it was a really good one. I think uh, I like how all three characters were actually interacting. They all have a very even amount of dialogue and I like that. I think like Ray's been really put on the back burner for the last like nine episodes in my opinion. She's not really been in it. And uh, she seemed pretty cool in this episode. I liked her. She I like both the main girls to be fair. I like her both for different reasons. I think Ray 
I like how calm she is and she seems to intake the situations and just gets on with it and just focus mission, mission, mission. And she seems like, I'm curious what we're going to do with her personality over this course of the show. I think she has a lot of room for growth. Asuka, I like the way she was in this episode. I like how she is. She's got the downside of being a big headed and full of herself, but when, but she she has she, but she can back it up as well, which is nice. I like her being the whole wanting to be the leader and then just like being a bit arsy by it, but then at the end, yeah, I just showed that she can come up with a plan real quick. She doesn't forget favors people done for him, like Sinji saved her ass last episode. She just forget, which some shows they might just forgot about it, but they brought it, she brought it back up like now even, which I like that. I like that little moment. That's pretty good. I like the fact that she um she took the most dangerous job because she was like she wants to be even with Sinji. Like she does say. Like, <clears throat> she does appreciate the help she gets. She doesn't just ignore it or just like put it down to like, oh, he just got in my way, which is a normally a tsunami trait. But she, I liked it this episode. I think like she did a good job, come up with a good plan, and they killed the angel in a cool way. Like I love the way it was done. Like I said, um, I feel like I'm sure it's not just over the top mecha combat. It's just like they come up with clever ways every time to fight the angels. The angels always have unique designs, and always leading up to the situation of fighting angels was interesting. Like that, I love the whole idea of the blackout. I'm curious who caused it. Like to be able to remove all three back up power files to the eyes without anyone noticing this must be some really skilled guy able to do that. Um, and the dad, I'm more interested in the dad more than anyone. I'm just like, what is the dad's overall plan? And like, what, what is it? Because sometimes he shows moments of like passion for his job and that lot, and then other times he's just scum, scummy and like really gr- morally grey. So I'm curious what it can do with it. Can do so much with all these characters. And I just want to know more about the angels every moment. Like I seen you just asking like why are we find the angels? It's a good question. Why are they, why are the angels here? Why are they actually fighting them? Why haven't they destroyed them yet? Because I'm sure why did they come and attack in waves of one? Why didn't they all come at once? Which is um all interesting in my eyes. And I'm looking forward to how they're gonna handle all this. Yeah, enjoyed the episode, it was solid overall. I do like the three main cast now, like Sinji. I've I've, I've as I've said multiple times, the first lot of episodes, I'm not feeling him. He's the last lot. He's, this last that five, five or four episodes now been really good like I like how he interacts with both the girls it's not over the top he's reasonable he's not been mardy I like it he's not been much of a yeah I, don't, I never thought when I was watching episode 1, 2 and 3 I never thought I'd like Sinji I thought he'd always just get on my nerves but no I really like him these last couple episodes hopefully he do not go back to how he was but he's been really good these last few and yeah like, he's not that bad of a main character to be fair like a lot of people said no you don't get better but I, I can disagree there like, I don't know, maybe later on he might get worse again but from up to this episode he's been pretty decent he hasn't been really annoying which I can appreciate um, yeah Asuka's still best girl though fight me um, <laughs> I, I don't know too, I know bits and bobs at the day before I watched the show like I don't know much about the show or plot but I have heard about the obviously the shipping wars between um, Sinji Asuka and Ray and know it's like a big thing who's best girl or the people hate both the girls like yeah I, I don't know I might put a poll up actually and ask who is uh, the best girl, who, who people think is best girl at, at the moment, because I'm quite curious how people will vote. But yeah, um, thanks for thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And yeah, thank you for leaving all the comments in previous videos as usual. I do read through them all, and and I always appreciate what you guys have to say. I will see you next week.